Matepo, this is Kebu Kebu TV, and uh, we are reporting live from Abakowole Road. I want to show you how beautiful Abakowole Road looks. And uh, I just noticed there's a sensitization going on by road safety uh, in conjunction with the Shell Petroleum so that they can be able to sensitize the people. The need for you to use your seatbelt and the need for you to drive carefully and also meet your people which you left home or in the villages as you are traveling. So this is going on now. This is about a road by the Macalet. Macalet, I have to be able to give you this report. Live in the city center of Alba, Enyimba City. This is a road safety, federal road safety. So they are doing a serious situation on the needs for you to we are your sisters on the knees for you to drive carefully on the knees for you to apply caution to anything you want to do to help you to also meet the people who are going to be able to do it for the city of the United States. We have them one of them as 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 we have them one of them
fuller lives. Because when our road ourselves, when our road ourselves, our life will be returned. Uh, nothing we nothing we cut short of that life which God gave us. So we will be here to show you guys at least in our number of the day life. Naba University. This is a long way and the Gebu Gebu TV got you covered. So we're here to ask you guys. Gebu Shwea, one of the mother, here in Mena, in University. Thank you. Oh, him the man, no? This is uh, um, along uh, Enugu Patakot Express Road. This is an incident that happened which I reported on my Facebook page. Uh, with a, a total gridlock. But the news, this is a, a very close to Omar Junction along Enugu Patakot Express Road. But the story uh, behind this incident, behind this accident, uh, is still unraveled. It's still very, very sketchy that we are still trying to find out exactly what happened. But uh, uh, just stay tuned for more. So, uh, uh, this... Uh, uh, okay, in the homeland, I better, thank God. Homeland, I've just landed. Uh, uh, this thing, came uh, in to get what happened. And uh, we also pray that uh, the authorities or even federal government should do, uh, do as well to empower and also give uh, uh, federal... Uh, 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 get these people a tow truck so that they, they can be able to to convey some most of these things. Uh, yeah, we're here at my home. Uh, uh, I got the way more, right? Mm. What's the Move them closer. All the whole people are I'm completely so what did you lose? I'm also the news. So uh, thank God uh, so far so good. No life we are lost. But then we are rushed to a nearby hospital, which I will see followed it up uh, from here. Uh, the news is, is not a William Gala who was also a GB evidence. Maybe we can have a uh, same number of the news of how this accident happened. And funny enough, the accident may involve our youth coppers. They use copper hats on a motor. That is why they use copper hats with their uniform. Actual horse or thinking now when they yahoo yahoo. Hey, me say track. But we say, but we say no. I post I share us on a day. But we say nanka na lota lota. Do the na eighty three. According to the news, this motor and this track hats on a Akasiya with the speed. And this track hats are open on empty crates. Okay, go. Oh, empty case. So the, the the driver of the car was also seriously injured. So I'm not say a But I thank God for Nigerian police. Thank God for road safety. They have been here to make sure that the story for sanity, so that this road will also be be open for traffic. Because you can see a lot of damage. You can see a lot of broken bottles. Uh, the condition of this road is now most people say by until he finish here and now. Uh, today is Thursday, the 14th day of December 2023, and uh, you are watching this from Cable Cable TV, and it's, uh, it's our duty to make sure we give you feedback on what is happening. Uh, thank you for sticking around.